start big picture, Tom. What was the most challenging thing about recruiting while a pandemic was going on? Well, the obvious, getting guys on campus. Um, you know, we, we were fortunate to get a, a core of these guys on before the pandemic occurred. Uh, but once that started happening, uh, the chance to truly evaluate guys in the spring and summer uh, was negated. And that, that, was, that was tough. And so to be able to watch guys and, and uh, uh, be able to truly get to know them, you know, better uh, in a face-to-face way uh, was not able to happen once we got past this point. So I think that just makes it hard. And I know that, uh, you know, it's all about relationships for me. And so we've had to build those relationships, you know, virtually. And it's a little bit of a smaller class in terms of number, but it's got a lot of talent. Let me ask you about some of the guys. There's a a lot of buzz around the quarterback, Donovan McCulley. Why is there so much buzz about him? Well, first of all, he's such a great athlete, uh, multi-sport individual, which I love. That's a common theme with a lot of these guys. Gifted quarterback. I think he's got a chance to be a tremendously uh, talented player in the Big Ten. You know, I I just feel like that, you know, he's an in-state guy one of the highest rated quarterbacks we've ever gotten in Indiana. Uh, and to me, that's a big deal. When your best players in state decide to stay home and help build this thing and help us go do special things in your home state, that to me is, is an awesome, awesome thing. So really proud of him for believing in us and wanting to be a Hoosier. And he might be able to throw to wide receiver Jaquez Smith pretty soon. What do you see in him? Well, another talented player that uh, we've attracted to Indiana and that receiver core. And, and just so encouraged once again, a guy that's uh, highly regarded, that's been a lot of people in this country wanting him to come play for him. But he saw something special here at Indiana and the relationships we're able to build with him and his family and, and the culture we have here. He's just a gifted athlete, obviously got tremendously talented hands, uh, ability to make plays in space, uh, becomes, becomes a running back once he gets the ball in his hand, which is what I love. Those yards after catch are big. And uh, we uh, love the f- football here at Indiana. He's going to be fit in great. D- did I read this right, that you guys liked him so much so early that you offered him before he'd even played a down on high school varsity? Well, we just said uh, we believed in what we felt like he could become as a player. And so sometimes you got to trust your gut instincts on those. And that's what we did. That's a good gut right there. What was it like going down to Texas to get another wide out, Jordan Williams? Well, I'll tell you, Jordan's another one. Just a ex- talented playmaker, uh, just love his personality, his confidence. Uh, really uh, felt like that he fit with us schematically. He fit with us in the culture we want here, the high character that we're looking for, the work ethic that we're looking for, and and just a guy that can make plays once again in space and and be able to get open. And then once he gets the ball in his hands, he's hard to get on the ground. So just trying to find weapons. It's become uh, that kind of a game now, and and uh, just another another talented receiver to add to our receiver core. Tom, you got these guys that we've been talking about that are very highly ranked in the history of Indiana recruits. You've got a season where you, your players, your program have been talked about nationally week after week. What has this whole year been like for you? Well, as challenging as it's been off the field with all the COVID issues and everything that this country is going through, it's been an amazing year on the field. And I think it's just a testament to the culture that we built, uh, just the, uh, the character of this team, the grit of this program, uh, it's allowed us to be able to thrive uh, during a challenging time and, and to be able to do historic things uh, when, uh, you know, it would be easy to, to have a lot of reasons not to uh, be able to get those things done on the field. So it, it's been very rewarding to be able to see the, uh, all the hard work and all the infrastructure that we laid years ago uh, when I first got here in terms of how we you know, wanted to build this program and to be able to have a strong foundation and, and one that has conviction to it, to what we believe and why we believe it and how we do what we do every single day. And to be able to go out in the field and, and to be able to have some of those historic wins we had this year and then bring in these kind of players that they're just going to allow us to continue to build. And we're still a young football team. We only got 12 seniors this year. And, and uh, these guys, it's a small class, but it's a very high quality class of, of individuals that, that, that fit with us and, and are, we're true to that. We're going to recruit to a certain standard of character and, and, and leadership qualities that we look for in a young man and, and guys that want to be here. And so these guys are proven to that. So we're excited to have them and just keep building and growing here at Indiana. Well, it has been super cool to watch uh, as a person who likes you personally and also the program, the way you've done it all. It's been great. Congrats on the remarkable run there, Tom. Well, thank you so much. The best is yet to come for Indiana football. Elio.